How do we calculate our qada salat and is there any easy way to do it? Uh, really, it's about trying to go back to the first time that we started missing prayer or rather for a lot of people it's from the first time that we actually started making prayer because for a lot of people they actually were missing prayer for a long time. Very few people who actually start making prayer, prayer diligently and then they start missing a lot. It's mostly that the, since they become baligh, uh, mature, they've actually been missing for most of the time and then after that they suddenly started praying. So think uh, as back as you can to when you think you became mature and you became baligh and then from that time to a safe time when you think you started praying. Right? So once you've figured that out and then you calculate the salat in that time. Now if you say that, oh generally I used to do dhuhr but never fajr and isha or something. So you just think back like that. Then you jot all of this down. I believe now you can actually, there are a number of apps, Qadai Umri apps as they call it, where you can plug this number in. I mean, you're going to have to figure, nobody can figure out how many prayers you've missed because nobody knows that except Allah yourself. So you need to figure that out. But once we figured that out, then you can use an app to, to keep track. The way then to do it is to say, Oh Allah, I'm doing my uh, fajr, my first Fajr I missed because you're not going to remember dates of when you missed. I mean, hardly, that's hardly possible unless you've got two or three Salats you've missed only, then you know. But regardless, the intention will be that, Oh Allah, this is the first of the Dhuhr prayers I've missed and that's what I'm doing as a Qadha right now. Uh, the way then to do it is to actually then either do one Salat with each day or to have a certain you know amount that I'm going to do this many fajrs each day of qada, this many dhuhrs each day, and you have a regimen, I'm going to do this after dhuhr, I'm going to do this at this time or whatever. Another option is to take one salat and just get them out of the way. So just get all of your fajrs out of the way in a few months. So if you've got 500 fajrs to make or 2,000 or 5,000 fajrs to make, you do all of your fajrs. Then you do all your dhuhrs. That way you've got these milestones that you achieve and it helps. And it's... I've seen numerous people who have been successful, mashallah, in covering up all of their qada prayers.